I am preparing for my next water balloon drop mission. This will be the largest drop that I've ever attempted. And this is the array as I've got it laid out on my workbench. I've finished working on all these pieces. It's time to load them up and get them ready for flying. All right, so I'm going to start with the obvious here. These are my Mark 64 water balloon holders. And the smaller one right here is a 112 scale that I'm working on for a different project. But it's got a water balloon in the nose. I have to fill and load balloons for the rest of these guys. So I have two batches here. This batch over here has already seen flight. They've been repaired or the balloon holders have been replaced. Uh, this is a brand new batch. So I've got enough for two battery packs worth of flights with three drops for each flight or battery pack. And this is my battery hatch, which I've turned into a bomb release mechanism. This is my water balloon drop release. There's three stations, one, two, and three. I've got some brackets on the back to uh, hold the uh, body steady while I place them on to the rack while the airplane's upside down. And then I'll activate the servo, which will push that linear gear and the uh, metal rod right there will slide forward into the capture ring, which is right here. Okay, now I have a 3D printed propeller to fly on this next mission. This one's a 10 inch diameter, 6 inch pitch, B-17 style Hamilton standard propeller. It's a new pitch for this size. I want more power. The 10-4 uh, flew well and the power was good in the upper uh, RPM range, but uh, a little bit sluggish for me in the lower RPM range. So giving a six inch pitch should give me a little bit more bite at those slower speeds and slower RPMs. All right, and the last thing is I built a, a box for my electronic speed controller and put Faraday tape around the outside of the box. Now it's got a slot for the wires going to the battery side in the back. It's open in the front and it's got a large opening in the top so the air can flow through. But this, the intention of this device is to cut down on the amount of interference that my video camera is receiving from the speed controller. Uh, it probably won't eliminate all the interference, but uh, you know, I've done what I can as far as putting distance between the camera and the speed controller. This Faraday tape, uh, copper and zinc, uh, and it applied really, really well over this 3D printed box. Okay, so there we go. This is everything. I need to go fill some water balloons and then get the airplane ready for flying. Quick addition to the earlier video that I took, these Mark 64 bomb cases have been filled with their water balloons. All right, so this is what it looks like. There's the warhead. That's about one and a half ounces of water per balloon, maybe a little bit more. I use this uh, Cajun injector, a turkey injector. Um, let's see, it says one ounce there. So it's about one and a half. I filled it up to the top and used it to fill up each balloon. All right, so there we go. 
I've got 18 rounds ready to fly.